There's an old riddle that goes like this. An explorer walks one mile due south, turns around, and walks another mile due east. He turns again, walks one mile due north, and finds himself back where he started. He sees a bear. What color is it? This is not the main riddle of this video, but if you don't know the answer and would like a moment to think it over, feel free to pause the video now because I'm about to reveal the answer. If you can't bear to wait any longer, the answer is white because the explorer must have started at the North Pole, being that starting from the North Pole, any direction he walked is technically south, and walking from any location towards the North Pole is technically north. His journey looks similar to a triangle, like this. A good trick of the trade is that if a riddle ends in what color is the bear, the answer is most likely white. Why? Because if the question actually has a correct answer, there is really only one kind of bear that meets the criteria in the riddle. That's right, polar bears are good for more than just holiday Coca-Cola commercials. The polar bear is the only species of bear that is native to the polar region. Because the polar region is so special, it's quite easy to create riddles regarding directions, gravity, temperature, and the ecosystem there, as well as aurora, polar day and night. If the riddle is not focused on the polar region, then the question likely wouldn't ask about a bear's color because it could be black, brown, or gray. There is no true, definite answer. Anyway, I hope this is a helpful trick for you, but bear in mind that today's challenge is not about the color of a bear. In fact, it's barely related at all. It's been discovered that the North Pole is not the only geographic starting point that satisfies the given conditions of the original riddle. The main puzzle of this video is, can you think of any other spot on the globe from which you could walk a mile south, a mile east, a mile north, and find yourself back at the original location without purposely breaking your compass? Pause the video and give yourself a moment to think it over. A globe would be a great help if you have one handy and not a snow globe in case you still have polar bears on your mind. This is actually one of Martin Gardner's best puzzles. If you're not at the North Pole, how then can you walk a mile south, a mile east, a mile north, and find yourself back at your starting place? A mile south and a mile north are in two opposite directions. The odd thing is that the mile east is in the middle. So is it possible that you can walk a mile east and find yourself back at the starting point? Yes, it is indeed possible. You just need to take a one mile circle around the pole. Because you walked a mile south first, this should happen near the south pole. Draw a one mile long circle around the south pole, and any point that is one mile north of the circle can be your starting point. From there, you can walk one mile south and reach the circle. Then, a mile east will take you in a complete circle around the South Pole, with the final mile north bringing you back to the starting point. So your starting point can be at any point from the larger pink circle. But is that all? Are there more possibilities? Walking around the South Pole in a complete circle takes you back to where you started. What about two circles? If you take a half mile long circle, one mile east will also take you back after walking around the South Pole twice. Then, the starting point can be slightly closer to the South Pole, represented by any point on the larger orange circle. Are you getting the picture? You can rock around the South Pole three times, four times, five times. The answers are unlimited. You'll definitely want to be bundled up, though, as the South Pole is even colder than the North Pole. Even too cold for a polar bear. If you liked this challenge, please share it with those around you. And please, don't forget to like and subscribe for more brain-scratching challenges just like this one. Happy thinking!